So guys, I am back with another Lords of the Fallen video and today guys, I bring you 35 plus secret items you may have missed. These consist of amazing OP weapons, we have jewellery in regards to pendants, rings, we have armors, we have umbra eyes, we have everything guys. Stay tuned. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more. Be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this is a third guide like this I have posted. I will continue on posting. I'm just going to complete all areas in regards to important loot. Now, if you've missed any of my previous videos, I will link them down below. But make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a future one. If you haven't already, that is. Now, before we go any further, I truly recommend, and it's for your own benefit, that you are optimized at range. Now, if you ain't, I do have a video guide. I'll link that down below too. I can be absolutely overpowered with that enhanced bloody hatchet, and you can take things out from afar. It's very important for this video because later on in the video, guys, you're probably going to need something that's good at range. So, yes, keep that in mind. Again, if you haven't got anything yet, or you're still struggling for range, check out that video link down below. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. And the starting point for today's video is the vestige of Ferris the Chard. And the first items we're going to grab are the Cursed Armor Set. This one you don't want to miss. So make your way as I am doing on screen now, guys. We're first going to make our way around and open up this gate. And there will be a few enemies in your way. You can run past them like I do most of the time, or take them out, it's completely up to you. Now you want to go into that umbra realm uh, around here so you can get around into this building. But again, you can run straight past all these enemies, there's no one uh, difficult in your way. Now you want to obviously come out of that umbra state because you will start getting attacked by all kinds of things in there. So yes, now guys, simply jump down and then go and open that gate and you are good people. And from this point we will just crack on. And we'll get that gear. Now what I will say is, there's like a reaper dude. He isn't too hard to fight. But if you've got a range combat down, you'll take him out no problem. Or you may just be able to kill him with your standard weapons. But do what you got to do guys, then grab this loot from the chest. Easy. Now as you get to this point right here guys, you will have to clear the path and make the path. So just follow what I do on screen. It's quite straightforward guys. Do what you got to do. And then go on to grab that armor. Okay, so from this point, guys, we're just going to push on quickly and then go and activate an anchor between realms just as a safety net because there's a lot of going on within this castle we're about to go into, guys. And there's a good chance you may die. So, yes, activating this is definitely important. So, do what I do on screen now, guys, and go get this thing.
Now, although we have just activated this anchor between realms, there is also a vestige right nearby too. But there is a big dude in the way. That's why we activate this. But if you haven't got the seeds to activate this, don't worry. Like I said, there is an anchor right nearby. So follow where I go on screen. Now, guys, don't interact with the big dude. Just run to this vestige and get this thing. Okay, so from this vestige, we're going to go and quickly grab a weapon which is located in this building. It's called the Duties Chime. So yes, you may as well get this while you are here. Once you've grabbed this thing, race back to that vestige point and rest. From here guys, we're going to have to go and take at this big dude. What he drops is a key to get into this building. So go take him out guys again, hit him from afar if you can or just take him out as I did. Do what I gotta do and pick up this key. Once you have the key, come into this house. Now there's a couple of things to grab, so just go where I go on screen now and you will get the accusing spirit. So do what you gotta do. Okay, so once we've done this guys, we're going to actually scale up a little bit, climbing a ladder, then jumping down and taking out a few enemies, and then opening a gate just for future purposes, just in case you get stuck somewhere, you don't have to come all up around and do what we just did again. This simple gate will allow you to come into this room and just do what you got to do and progress. Okay, so from this point guys, we're just going to progress on into this next room and grab the enhanced Imperium Grenade. Okay. 
Okay, so from this point, guys, we're just going to push on and grab the Trinity Shield. Now, what I will say is, this is kind of heavily guarded, so I wouldn't bother trying to fight them. Just do as I do, guys. Run past them all, grab it, then use the Umbral Lantern to walk through this gate so the enemies behind you cannot get you. Now, as you make a forward path from this point, guys, and there's a gate on your right hand side, if you can, open this. Also, as you push on a little further, there is a ladder which you should push down just in case you do die. It makes the route back up here much, much quicker. So make sure you take care of them while you can. And from this point, guys, we are just pushing on. It's quite a trek to run. We're actually running to an anchor between realms just because we need that safety net because if you die, you go back to that vestige we activated it earlier so yes make sure when you do this guys be very very careful there will be plenty of ads that you do have to run past so a lot of ducking and diving to make sure you don't get hit a lot of dodging guys there are tons and tons of those due to those crossbows big enemies with big swords so yes be very very careful but just follow the path i do take the exact path i take and you should be good So you'll actually get to this point here. This is where you put down that seed and create that anchor between the rounds. Now, I actually didn't do this at first and I made a big, big mistake. So I did it on my backwards path here. Luckily, I didn't die. I don't know how I didn't, but I didn't. But yes, make sure you activate this if you can. Okay, so from this point, guys, you're going to grab the enhanced Umbral Borer. Also, the enhanced Cursed Dart, as well as the Hollow Triptych Pendant. Now these are relatively straightforward to get until you get to the very top on this roof. Now you have to be very careful here. This bow headed dude when he hits himself in the head with his hammer can not only knock you straight off this building to your death but can also one hit you if your armor isn't high enough. So make sure you dodge at the right time guys then go to this chest and grab it then jump down. Once you jump down you are relatively safe from the enemies above you as they will not follow you. Then the progress on guys to get the remaining loot from this area. This is that bow headed dude I was talking about. Again, guys, be very, very careful. Time your dodge perfectly and simply grab that chest and quickly jump down, and you are good. Okay, so from this point guys you're going to make your way down this ladder and into this room and then you want to jump down guys because there is a key here called the abbot's vernoff key uh, this is very very vital for your progression it leads you to a couple more bosses too which drops some amazing loot so make sure you grab this one guys and once you've grabbed this guys you want to head back to the anchor between realms vestige point
Okay, so from that anchor between realms vestige point, we're going to go and fight a boss here. From this boss, you get four items. You get the Abiding Defender Helm, the Ebon Light Abiding Defender Sword, the Divine Arms Spell, and the Flail of Wisdom Weapon. Now, these bosses can be a bit tough, I'm not going to lie. Again, I use that guide I linked down below with the hatchet, the enhanced bloody hatchet. I just kept my distance and took these dudes out. I beat them first time I tried using this method. Before these guys, I must have died about 10 times because they're just ganging up on me as they do. So, yes, do what you got to do, guys. Beat these and get that loot. Okay, so from this same anchor between realms, we're going to go and fight another boss. Along this path, you'll get the Braided Ring, the Carrion Knight Staff, the Carrion Knight Wrappings, and you'll also get a Saintly Quintessence, which are very useful, as you know. So when you get to the boss guys, again, I use my enhanced hatchet to take this dude out. He is the blessed carrier knight. So Nisha, I believe that is, but it's quite easy, quite straightforward. You probably won't even need those ranged attacks on him. But again, guys, I made it easy on myself so I could just progress past this dude. So do what you gotta do. But once you take him out, make sure you grab that braided ring as well from behind this building. Then once you've done that guys, if you can, activate the anchor between realms. So once you've done this guys, we're going to push on to meet another NPC. We call him Stolman, Captain of the Vidilis. And yes, I've probably pronounced that wrong, I normally do. Now you will meet him for a second time in a short while too. But between the paths, between the two times you meet him, there is another boss. So yes, follow this path I take guys to this boss fight. So the loot this boss drops is the Abess Chalice, I believe that's pronounced, as well as the Weeping Abess Mitre. So yes, this boss is quite straightforward, I'm not going to lie. I mean, again, guys, if you got those ranged attacks, like I've been saying the whole video, the bosses in this game, every boss I've come up against just cannot do anything about it. Again, 
if you're interested in what I'm doing on screen now, I'll link the video in the video description of exactly how you can do this. It's three simple items you can get in about 10 minutes near the start of the game. There's no excuses, guys. So yes, do what you got to do and defeat this boss and get this loop. Okay, so from this point guys, we're going to quickly go and open up another vestige. So do what I do on screen now guys, and go activate this thing. Okay, so from this point guys, we're just going to progress on, uh, take out a few enemies along the way and then go and open up a gate, which just makes the path to where we've got to get to a lot quicker from that vestige point we just activated. So do as I do on screen now guys and get this thing done. Okay, so from this point guys, we're just going to progress on even further, taking out a few enemies along the way, just to clear the path to make it a little easier. Now along the way guys, we will get weighted arrows, we will get a new emote, and we also end up back at that vendor we're not long met. So do as I do on screen now guys, and get this done.
So from this NPC, again guys, we're gonna go and grab a new weapon. It's called the Heretical Sentinel's Hammer. So go get this thing. And from this point guys, we just progress on a further up this castle, this ginormous building. Uh, then we basically take out a few enemies and then come down and open a gate which again will make the path up to this place if you die much much easier. From this point guys you're going to go on and grab the multi shot crossbow as well as the toll weapon now these are both incredible but it can be a bit of a pain to get these so do as I do on the screen now guys exactly as I do this is where those ranged weapon attacks will come in very very handy because there are a lot of enemies to take out and it's definitely easier to take them out from afar especially the main enemy of this area he beams you so yes do as i do on screen now guys follow the path i take and get this loot
Okay, so from this chest, we're going to go and activate another anchor between realms. Because, hey, if you die up here, you're going right back to the very bottom and you have to take out all these enemies again. So do as I do on screen now. Now, this is optional for you, but hey, you may as well grab it while you're here. It is another saintly quintessence, but you will have to fight another enemy, a big enemy to do this. It's in a tight area too, so it can be a bit of a pain in the ass. So watch out what I do on the screen now. If it seems like something you can do, go for it, guys. But hey, from this point, we're making our way back to the Anchor Between Realms. Okay, so next up guys, we're going to grab the Imperius Nahuta's Ring, as well as the Umbral Eye of Blind Agatha. Now to do this guys, follow the point I go to from this Anchor Between Realms. You have to be also in that Umbral Realm, and it can be a little tedious because you have to jump across roofs while being attacked by enemies. So here guys, again, take these enemies out from afar and grab this loot. Be careful though, when you first activate your umbral state, as there's a dude that will likely push you off the building. So I do it from that sure anchor between realms vestige point. I go into the umbral realm here and then progress on. I quickly run and jump across to that one roof and then take out this little ad who is annoying as heck. But once you've done that guys, progress on and get that loot.
from here guys make your way back to the anchor between realms and from this point we're going to enter another boss fight the loot he drops you is the rapturous huntress armor the sanctioned huntress spear as well as the rune of a deer now this boss well again for me with my hatchets he was super super easy but otherwise i'm guessing it's probably going to be pretty difficult but do what you gotta do guys and take this dude out Once you've done this, activate the anchor between realms and then we're going to progress on to get even more loot. The first one we're going to get is the lacerating weapon and then we're going to grab guys the Saint Salonor's ring. Then once these have grabbed, we're going to push our way up, go in a lift and activate another vestige point. Okay, so from this vestige point, guys, we'll actually go back down that lift. That next area is for another video. I don't want this one going on for too long. It's already 40 minutes or so. Okay, so we're going to grab now, guys, a shield of piercing light. Now, there are a few enemies to take out that will be in your way. But get them down, guys, and you can grab this item. Simple. And from this point guys, we're going to go and grab another saintly quintessence and then end the video there. So follow the part I take on screen now guys, do what you gotta do, there's going to be a few enemies in your way, but take them out. And there we have it guys, secret items you don't want to miss. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Lords of the Fallen, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one